But now, the Pinsgau, a lightweight truck with serious off-road potential. Driving a Pinsgau is almost like driving a rally car. The, the handling, the performance, the, the way the vehicle handles cross-country uh, and rough road conditions is just remarkable. It's got good brakes, phenomenal stopping power, which is just as important as being able to go. It's also fast. We can, we can get to 70 miles per hour on a forest road, which in a five-ton truck is pretty impressive. The engine's now changed from a, a six-cylinder Volkswagen turbo-diesel intercooled engine to a five-cylinder uh, turbo-diesel intercooled engine, which has much more torque. Now, what makes the Pinsgauer so unique is this centre tube chassis that we have. This is a solid member, uh, torsion resistant, and it moves all the way from the front tow bar to the rear tow bar. And it connects the differentials, the transfer gearbox, the handbrake, the tow bar, all as one solid piece from beginning to end. This makes the vehicle incredibly strong. Also, it houses the transmission shafts. So the, the drive shaft runs inside the tube, so there's no exposed components outside the tube. The differentials themselves are really the, what makes the vehicle so unique. These also provide the drive and the suspension of the vehicle. In here we have two crown wheels, and these two crown wheels drive each side independently. And this allows us to produce an independent suspension system. And if I show you the axle moving, you can see here, totally independent suspension. No connection between one side and the other. This means we can cover ground very, very fast and with a very good smooth ride. pulling the 105 millimeter gun that's its uh, sort of main requirement with the 4 before application but along came other jobs like pulling the a ptarmigan system around on the back of it uh, we use a 6x6 for that uh, the ambulance for the uh, the RAF <coughs> all the strike command bases uh, have uh, Pinsgauer ambulances they are based on the 6x6 chassis Uh, we see it in service with uh, the rapid reaction forces and particularly these days it's been in, uh, out uh, and certainly well publicised and been on the television a great deal as it's been seen of course in the, the, the most recent one in Iraq, before that in Afghanistan and uh, before that in uh, Macedonia, Kosovo, Bosnia. So it really has seen a, a great deal of action. <laughs> 